Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. This is 15.7 uh, in Calculus 3 in Anton's 11th edition book. It's the Divergence Theorem. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Let me rewrite the Divergence Theorem. I didn't even do it again. Surface integral of f dot n ds is the same thing as the triple integral over the volume of the divergence of f dv. So we want to find the flux of f if f is xy in the x direction, y squared plus e to the xz squared in the y direction, and then sine of xy in the z direction. S is going to be the surface bounded by the parabolic cylinder, z equals 1 minus x squared. So it's a cylinder that opens a lot that has the y axis as its pipe. Uh, and then we have the planes of z equals zero, y equals zero, and then y plus z equals two. So z equals zero is along the bottom, y equals zero is along the left, and y plus z equals two is a plane that's slicing this way. And so I did what I could to write it as a slice plane. Uh, I showed it for y, solved it for y, y equals two minus z. Uh, so when z equals zero, y would be up here. When z equals zero, y is two. So it's definitely going downward at an angle like that. Uh, if I write my boundary conditions, zero on the left side is going up to y is two minus z. Then we could go along z. Z is going from zero on the bottom up to one minus x squared on top. And finally, it was the cylinder z equals one minus x squared. So when z equals zero, uh, we see that we get negative one and positive one for our boundaries of x. <laughs> now, that looks like a hell of a bunch of surfaces to do. We don't want to do that. We want to use the divergence theorem. So let's take the divergence of f. This is going to be really ugly. And to do that for each surface, is that's sucky. So we do the divergence of f, and we just get 3y. OK, so f dot n ds as our triple integral, d, d, the divergence of f, is really the, just the triple integral of 3y dv. Uh, we have our boundaries over here. So that sets up that integral. That's the hardest part of this problem. Draw your picture, figuring out your boundary conditions. And the divergence part was actually pretty easy. It's the setting up and doing the pictures. And, and figuring out what your boundaries are. When we do the integral, I'm not going to walk you through it step by step. You guys know how to do uh, integrals like this. Pause the video. Make sure you get the same thing when you do it. 184 over 35. Peace. <laughs> 